Good. Oh, wow. Oh, look out. She means. Well, yeah, if it wasn't obvious, Shakari means business and has been since the beginning. But this year, she's more aggressive about going after what she wants. You all know what that is, right? An Olympic gold. Every athlete's dream. As all of you are aware, Richardson is an electrifying sprinter who gained popularity in the United States for her fantastic performances over the years. Not only had she made her name known with her explosive runs, but she also captured the world's attention with her viral wig toss at the 2023 US Track and Field Championships. Now, a year later, and gracing Vogue's August 2024 digital cover, Richardson has opened up about the inspiration behind that defiant beauty statement. The 24-year-old track star, renowned for her dazzling speed and bold personal style, shared the significance of her actions. On the set of her cover shoot, she recalled the moment she revealed her braids just before the 100-meter championship race last July. I'm not going to change the confidence that I have in myself ever. But at the same time, I have learned there is a way that I can carry that so much more gracefully. That's where that moment came from, she admitted. Contrary to what it looked like at the time, her decision to toss her wig was more than a spontaneous act. In actuality, it culminated in experiences and personal growth. I only could get to this point through experience and having the right people around me. I know that no matter what I do, no matter what decision I make, I know that it comes from me," she explained, as she emphasized the importance of self-assurance and authenticity. Her decision, which had seemed impulsive but turned out to have a deeper meaning, shocked a lot of people for various reasons. One of those who was completely stumped when it happened was Key Rents, the Orlando-based braider who styled Richardson's hair for the championships. Instead of the wig toss, she was even more shocked to see Shakari with a wig over her masterpiece. I was like, oh no, she didn't like her hair. Why does she still have the wig on? When I seen her rip it, I was like, oh my god, yes ma'am, I know that's right. I understood the symbolism when she did it. I understand where she was coming from. After everything that she went through, Shakari learned the hard way to mature, and fast. Last year, we heard her say over and over again, I'm not back, I'm better. Apparently, like her wig toss, there is a deeper meaning to the phrase. It is no secret that she has been through a lot over the last several years. In 2021, while dealing with the unexpected death of her biological mother, she failed a drug test after testing positive for marijuana. She was subsequently barred from competing in the 2021 Olympic Games, despite qualifying. What's good about her, though, is the fact that she is aware and never shied away from admitting that her actions were wrong, even issuing a public apology to take accountability. After that, she had to get her act straight, so she did. She went back to work on her craft. In a couple of post-race interviews last year, she kept saying how she's not back, but instead better. In a recent interview with Maya Singer of Vogue, she explained what that phrase meant. I don't just mean I'm a better runner, she said. It's beyond that. I'm better at being Shakari. I'm better at being myself. Today, it's pretty evident that she is indeed a better version of herself. As a result, she has also become a better athlete. As a matter of fact, Richardson dropped a world-leading time in the 100 at the US Olympic trials last month. As such, she will be entering the Paris Olympics as the favorite in the marquee sprint event. That's no surprise, especially after the world just saw her run a gold medal winning time of 10.71 at the trials. Her time is the number one mark in the world this year. That's a remarkable achievement in and of itself, yes. But she has loftier goals. She is trying to become the first US woman to win an Olympic gold medal in the 100 since Gail Devers at the 1996 Atlanta Games. She is also slated to be a part of Team USA's 4x100 relay team in Paris. As you would have guessed, she is hoping to conclude the Olympics with the gold medals. To be fair, she is not just hoping for it, but is working hard for the attainment of that goal. Every time you step on the track, it's a validation of the time you've put in, the sacrifices you make on the daily, she said. When I get on the blocks, it's about getting the job done. I know there's joy at the other end, at the finish line. 
but I also know I've got to earn that happiness. In the same Vogue interview, she likened track to the catwalk. I feel like fashion is the flow of the body. Fashion is the flow of expression. Fashion relates to the way that I move my body. The way that I run down the track is almost like the same way I can strut down the runway. Fashion and sports are the one and the same an expression of self. Beyond her record-breaking career, the track and field star has captivated audiences worldwide with her unique style. Inspired by track legends like Gail Devers and the late Florence Griffith Joyner, Richardson became known early on for rocking vibrant wigs and unique nail extensions. Her flair and style might raise eyebrows, but she embraces who she is and revels in her right to self-expression. I'm not gonna change the confidence that I have in myself ever, but at the same time, I have learned there is a way that I can carry that so much more gracefully. That's where that moment came from, she said. I only could get to this point through experience and having the right people around me. I know that no matter what I do, no matter what decision I make, I know that it comes from me. Meanwhile, her fans are waiting to see which style she will rock in Paris in 2024. The sprinter's bold beauty choices, including her vibrant hairstyles and long acrylic nails, have become a part of her identity, both on and off the track. As she prepares to compete with Team USA at the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris, she carries with her the lessons and experiences that have shaped her journey. She compares her preparation for Paris 2024 to a game of chess. The Olympics, okay, that's checkmate. That's the moment an athlete dreams about. But the 24-year-old Texas native also talks about keeping herself fixed firmly in the present. If all I'm doing is looking ahead, then I can't be where I need to be, which is here, now. Speaking of now, the new sports docuseries Sprint her personality is now on Netflix for all to see. I'm one of the fastest women in the world, Richardson says as she introduces herself in the second episode. This is my world, they just in it, she tells her coach later in the episode. Released in early July, Sprint. The world's fastest humans is the latest from Box to Box Films, the production company behind a number of successful sports docuseries released on Netflix over the past few years. The release of Sprint comes less than a month before the start of the Paris Olympic Games. It's great to see her journey to the top, but she still isn't done reaching for the stars. That said, fans are looking forward to seeing her dominate the track in the 100-meter event at this year's Summer Games. Her dream of bagging the 100-meter gold may not be too easy to achieve, as she will be up against Sprint legends Shelly Ann Fraser-Price and Sharika Jackson. All three will be chasing the world record held by Florence Griffith Joyner in the women's 100 meter of 10.49 seconds. Watch this to see who else plans to bring home gold from Paris.